Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share how I am planning to end our homeschooling year strong. We are at our final finish line and we are going to do this thing. <laughs> so if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, four, and two, and I am wrapping up my second year of homeschooling. So you guys, I am so excited. Um, right now, it is Sunday and tomorrow we are going to be back from our spring break so uh before we ended off our spring break you guys i came upstairs into our homeschool room and i just did some last minute planning um and i just really wanted to be effective in coming back hitting this thing home uh wrapping up this year with a nice little bow so um hopefully some tips and some things that i am doing to end off my year strong can hopefully help you guys as you are ending off your homeschooling years so you guys the first thing that I did when um, trying to figure out how I'm going to end off this year strong was I look back at all the goals that I made for Brielle for her fourth year of homeschooling and how I figure out the goals that I want her to reach is I actually utilize my Georgia State standards for ELA and mathematics. I know a lot of homeschooling families don't like to use state standards, especially the ones that are used for the public system or the public school system for uh, their standards. However, I personally, I like using these standards just because um, you guys, I don't know what the future holds. I don't know if ever we will be placed in a situation where my daughter does have to go back to public school or to the public education system. And I just don't want to set my daughter up for failure. I want to set her up for success. So utilizing these standards are really just guidelines and tools for me to make sure that my daughter, if anything was to happen, she will be at least ahead or right on par with her peers. And um, that's just something that is is important to me. I went ahead and I checked out the homeschooling year by year book from our public library at the beginning of fourth grade and I kind of compared what was in that book to the Georgia standards and they were pretty much the same so I just decided to go ahead and utilize the state the Georgia state standards for um, ELA and for mathematics. So from the standards and the goals that I have right here, I made a short list of some things that I want us to accomplish before the end of the school year. And you guys, like I'm really, really proud of my daughter because for most of these standards, we are probably at the halfway point for fifth grade right now, according to the Georgia State Standards. So I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of all of the work she's put in. I can't believe just naturally by us just being home and working through our lessons, we're kind of like just checking off those uh, marks just naturally and um, I'm really proud of her. It is a couple of things that we have to um, check off our list as far as her writing for fourth grade, which are um, she needs to write a thank you note, she needs to write a friendly letter, a book report, and a newspaper article. So those are like her last four writing assignments she has to do to officially complete the ELA for fourth grade and then we can kind of finish up some of the things in ELA for fifth grade as far as her writing standards. So I'm really proud of Bree. She's done really, really good. Good. So those four writing assignments, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in throughout our last six weeks. And um, yeah, so those are like the main goals as far as standards that I want her to reach. Now, you guys, now that I know the goals and I know where I want us to reach as far as the end of our last six weeks, I kind of have to do the second thing, which is get my daughter motivated and pumped, especially coming back from our spring break. So you guys, I went to the Dollar Tree this morning and I just grabbed my daughter a couple of cool things to put on her desk as a surprise, as an incentive to just say, you've done so good so far. Let's end this year strong. My daughter, she loves these like little journals. So I bought her a new journal. I bought her some more stickers. Oh, my, my daughter, she loves stickers you guys she's a sticker girl and I actually found this really cool watercolor set in the Dollar Tree they have like a new section you guys in a Dollar Tree that has like three and five dollar items and this was in that section so she has a couple of um, art lessons that she's going to need her watercolors for so hopefully by seeing these cool little things on her desk on a Monday morning she will kind of be excited to finish off this homeschooling year strong and it'll kind of just give her like a little incentive a little push knowing that I'm proud of her. So that is like a little surprise that I have for Brie. 
So you guys, let's go ahead and go through the curriculum and where I want us to be at by the end of the school year. So this is our living art lessons, you guys, that I absolutely love. This is gonna carry into our fifth grade year and um, we actually are going to be finishing up the first chapter, which is on lines. And that's why I need the watercolor. So we have three more lessons to go and um, I'm really excited for her to do this. We do our art on uh, Fun Friday. So I want us to finish the last three lessons in the first chapter in living art lessons. So you guys, as far as um, history, we are finishing up Amazing Africa, which is a heritage pack from Amber O'Neill Johnson. You guys, we have had so much fun doing this heritage pack, learning all about the continent of Africa through picture books, and it was so much fun. We have about three more weeks left. We do two lessons a week, so we have six lessons in total, three weeks left remaining of our Amazing Africa unit, so we will definitely have this finished well before our last six weeks my daughter is actually kind of sad because she told me she had so much fun doing this but um we're gonna be finishing up amazing africa now as far as spelling you guys we are doing 180 days of spelling and word study we started this in january so we're only going to get in about week 18 or unit 18. i'm not worried we're not going to finish this baby up but uh i'm just happy that uh we got a good spelling curriculum that she loves so we're going to end it off our year using or we're going to end off our year on unit 18 or week 18 of this one now, as far as Brielle for her reading tests um, or her reading kind of comprehension skills that I give her, she's going to be actually finishing off this book. She has about six more reading comprehension tests, and I'm really happy for her to finish this off because it's going to prepare her for the testing that we are going to do at the end of our school year. So yeah, so reading comprehension, we have about six tests left. Now, as far as science you go, you guys goes, we actually finished the world of animals. We are actually on the human body unit study. We're having so much fun. We have 28 lessons remaining that we need to complete to finish the human body unit. These lessons, you guys, are so short and so sweet. We do science twice a week, and each time we do science, we do two to three lessons because they're very short, they're very sweet, they're very thorough lessons. So um, I'm excited for us to finish off our year doing the human body. Now, as far as math, you guys, goes, we are actually uh, working through Saxon. We started Saxon in January. Again, another curriculum we started mid-year. Um, she's working through Saxon 6-5 right now, and we are going to end off our school year on Lesson 60. Saxon has a total of 150 lessons, which includes 22 tests, 12 investigations, and 120 um, math lessons. So she's going to have completed, or she's going to be completing 60 lessons. She's gonna be on test 15 and she's gonna end on investigation number five. So in total, for us to meet our halfway point, we have 28 lessons remaining for us to meet that point. So I'm really proud of my daughter. I mean, she's already doing fifth grade math right now. So um, I'm not worried that we're not going to finish this curriculum up. We're just going to keep on going, using Saxon throughout the summer and into her fifth grade year. So um, yeah, this is, you guys, Saxon has been amazing. So um, yeah, so we're going to finish off on lesson 60. Now, as far as English, guys, we are doing Rod and Staff Building English Christian Series, and we love this one again of, as well. And um, my daughter, we actually started this one in our eighth week of homeschooling. So what I did was, because my daughter is so strong in English and in grammar, I looked at the last four chapters that we have to do, and I went ahead and I marked off the lessons I know for sure she knows we don't need to do, uh, especially this chapter right here that they have is on punctuation. I'm actually just going to give my daughter the end of the uh, chapter review, and that's gonna satisfy that lesson or that chapter of punctuation, just because I know that's a strong point. I watch her writing all the time, and I'm seeing she's doing all these things, so it's no sense to waste her time, especially in an area that she is already doing good in. That's a tip of advice I will have if you have started any curriculum mid-year, you wanna finish it off before the end of your school year, I would definitely say just go through the lessons and see what skills your kids mastered and just skip those babies, you guys. Um, the public school system does not complete 100% of the curriculum and I don't think you should expect yourself to complete 100% of any curriculum that you have in your house. These curriculums are just used as a tool and a guide. So 
mark off those lessons that your kiddos don't need and keep moving forward you guys reach those goals and that's how i'm going to reach my goals so in total the lessons that i want my daughter to do is going to be 22 lessons so we're definitely going to reach that at the end of our last six weeks now one other thing that i want us to accomplish you guys is i am going to go ahead and give my daughter a standardized test again this year uh, in the state of georgia i'm actually not in our testing year this year however you guys it was so beneficial for me to get back those results of my daughter's standardized test after our first year of homeschooling because it really allowed me to be able to see the areas that she struggled in the areas that she excelled and it and it helped me be able to figure out like where to start off in curriculum um, I don't want to waste my daughter's time and I don't want to waste my time especially on areas and that are her strengths so um, I definitely want to go ahead and carve out some time to give her her standardized test I've decided that the last week of April we're gonna carve out three days for her to do a standardized testing this year if you guys have any questions about standardized testing and how I do it in my homeschool um, I will be glad to make a video for you guys because I had to do a lot of research especially in my first year of homeschooling to try to figure out what test to use how to do it it was like a lot of stuff and I definitely want to go ahead and give you guys that information to help any of you guys out there who have to do homeschooling testing and kind of like where to go and where to look so um yeah I definitely will make that video uh after we complete our testing for this year so now that I have my goals I know where we have to or how many lessons we have to complete in all of my curriculums what I did was I went ahead and I started making a plan in my planner you guys I bought this planner at the beginning of the homeschool year and I'm not gonna lie I do not like this planner I won't recommend it uh, I use erasable pens and when I erase and I need to erase something the paper kind of like scratched up this is not my favorite planner um so <laughs> i cannot wait to get into my school nest planner that i actually have for our upcoming school year however um i'm just going to finish off our year using this planner and um yeah but what I did was I wrote down all of um, our last six weeks. I went ahead and carved out the date. I do do reverse planning, so I write what we do after we do it. But uh, for the sake of our last six weeks, you guys, I went ahead and I just wrote the lesson number that I want us to complete because I know we can do it. So I went ahead and I filled it in for our last week, six weeks just knowing that plan. And from there, you guys, I made my daughter this cute little weekly sheet because my daughter is, uh, she's very independent now. She is working very, very uh, good. So I made her this little weekly list of all of the things that I want her to accomplish at the end of the week and she can kind of like check it off so she can know what she has to do, what assignment she has and she can kind of be on the same page as me. And um, this little weekly sheet, I actually just found it on Pinterest. If I can find the link, I'll put it down in my description box. But I just went ahead and I printed it off and of course I had to use like colorful pins and all the things kind of like decorated to get her excited for uh, the end of our school year. So um, you guys that is everything that is how I'm planning to end off our homeschooling year strong. I really hope this video you guys kind of gave you some inspiration and some tips on how you can kind of like uh, end off your homeschooling year strong wrap it up in a nice pretty bow. Um, <laughs> I'm so excited and I'm so proud of all the things that my daughter accomplished. It's so crazy when I look back at her work from our first year of homeschooling uh, till now. It's just crazy to see just the amount of growth that she has had um, within our homeschool and I'm proud of her. Um, I'm proud of my stuff myself for like sticking it through, especially through the hard days where I just wanted to give up. I'm just proud of myself for keep on going. So um, you guys, we can do this. We can end these years strong. Leave me down in the comment section below how you guys plan to end off your homeschooling year strong. Are you tired? Are you done are you ready to go so you guys as always thank you so much for watching today's video and i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye